to another episode of the Raider Ragu Show. Today, we're going to get into the Week 14 matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and our beloved Las Vegas Raiders. Before we get into it, please like, subscribe to the YouTube show channel. Also, download on the audio portion on wherever you get your podcast, your audio podcast. Don't forget our sponsor, tbangboutique.com. That's S H E Bang Boutique.com. Go over there, get your girl song fly. All right, thanks. Please subscribe, comment. So, first of all, man, you know, say the season from hell um, hasn't gone well. Raiders are 2 and 10, firmly in the cellar in the AFC West. Everybody in the AFC West is actually in a playoff race, which is. What people were saying it was that the Raiders were up against and AP was up against with the coaches and stuff that came over. But let's take a look at this game. We're not even going to already know what happened, what's going on with the Raiders as far as injuries and not having that good offensive coordinator. I'm not even going to put it on the uh, players because you know I wasn't uh, calling cool plays. We can see that now with Scott Turner and how he's got Offense looks like it has continuity. He actually looks like he has a plan out there. He's using players for their strengths. I mean, doing what a, you would think a pro coach would do, but Getsy, you know, I stuck with him. And we were gassed thinking, you know, build a run with the double tights and all that. And then they switched to the zone blocking scheme and didn't switch personnel. So they just thought in one season they were going to be all, all of a sudden be able to just start zone blocking people and we all bought into it but it's not that easy man it's a national football league anyway man uh thursday's practice results are and you tough to plan the game unless you're a superstar that's always on the injured list and basically don't practice during the week like uh, miles garrett and guys like that sometimes max but when you don't practice on thursday in the league you most likely are not going to play in the Nate Hobbs did not play. I'm not practice. I'm sorry. Alexander Matteson was limited, which means he's probably going to play. Zamir White did not play, so he's going to be out. Jordan Meredith, full participant. So ankle for Hobbs, ankle for Madison, quadricep for Zamir White, shoulder for Jordan Meredith. Jordan Shorter, the tight end, full participant. Everybody else, nobody, nobody else on the for everybody. Oh, no. Abdullah did not practice, did not practice illness. Jacoby Myers did not practice ankle. Now, that's interesting. I just said, if you don't practice on Thursday, unless you like a superstar, you usually don't play. But I don't know about Amir. It, it didn't list what was up with them on Wednesday. It just says did not practice Thursday. With a foot for Amir and ankle for Jacoby. That's what kept Jacoby out before. Aiden's is, is an illness. Got to think he'll get better by game time. For the Bucks, their linebacker, KG, KJ Britt, did not practice. Safety, Mike Edwards, did not practice. Wide receiver, Mike Evans did not practice. That's with a hamstring and a calf injury for him. Troy Hill, Bucky Irvin with a hip and back did not practice Thursday. Troy Hill, the corner with a foot and a knee did not practice on Thursday either. Baker Mayfield full practice. Achilles and knee, they say. Um, it, I, I expect Mike to play. KJ Britt has been out. So I'm not sure with him. I don't think he's may not play. The safety Mike Edwards might not play. But Mike Evans, I expect to play. And Bucky Irving. So don't worry about that. They're gonna play. All right. So what the Bucks are gonna try to do is run the football. Right? They're gonna first and foremost try to run the football with this kid, Bucky Irving, and uh Rashad White. Next thing they're gonna do, try to get the ball football down the field to Mike Evans. All right. Let me adjust. This doesn't look cool. So that's the next thing they're going to do. Try to get the ball down the field to Mike Evans after running. Establish run. Try 
try to get you to, uh, you know, front up, try to get you to stack the box to try to stop the run because the, these guys are, are uh, good running backs. The last game, Bucky Irving had like a buck 52 against uh, Carolina. So, and Rashad White came in and had 76 yards. So they over 200 yards between them. So they're going to run the football. And these guys, so between them, 36 carries for 228 yards, man. That's a lot, man. You know, a lot. So first and foremost, you're going to have to stop the run or this thing is going to be ugly and over with. Uh, it's going to be like a slow dragging. So that's what you got to do. And get after Baker on those third downs. We have to get some pressure, get some sacks, get him to turn it over, get him to throw a pick because Baker is a gunslinger. He'll throw the football. He'll give you the football. That's what we have to do defensively. Stop the run, get after Baker on third down, and I know they're going to go at the rookie, DeCam Richardson, but, you know, and this can be a come-out party because – they're going to throw at you, man, with Mike Evans, one of, the, one of the very best receivers in the league. And he's playing with purpose because he has a streak of 1,000-yard of seasons, and it's in jeopardy right now. He needs to average about 95, 96 yards a game, if I'm not mistaken, if I heard correctly. So Baker's going to be throwing him the ball. Last week he had eight receptions. Uh, going to be throwing him the ball mostly and running it. That's what they do. He will throw it to other people, the tight end, the running backs out the backfield. But mostly he's looking for Mike Evans downfield with the formidable running attack. Okay. What do the Raiders need to do? But we already said defensively what we need to do. Stop the run. Get after Baker. Stay close with Mike Evans. Uh, D. Cam Richardson, this can be your come out party. It's time to shine. Your taller corner. This is a taller receiver. It's time to do your thing. D. Cam Richardson, do your thing against Mike Evans. On the road, establish yourself in this league. What do the Raiders need to do on offense? They need to be similar to what the Bucks are going to do. They need to run the football. Sincere McCormick looks like Madison. Abdullah might be out. So it's, it's going to be an interesting combination with Sincere and Madison. This might be the combination that we should have originally. You should have had more of this, but we're going to see right now. This week, it looks like those two, Sincere McCormick and Alexander Madison. We need to run the football with those two, get the ball down the field to Tucker, and hopefully Myers, man. I'm not, it's his ankle is kind of scary, but I'm going to say he's going to play. But get the f- ball, football down the field to Tucker. And then, guys, I got a hunch Bowers is about to show out. Heavy dosages. Of Bowers, maybe two hundred. Uh, all right, man. You don't think I'm extra out? Maybe two hundred for Brock. Anyway, get the fo- football down the field to Tucker. First, establish the run. Then get the football down, football down the field to Tucker. Myers for all the intermediate stuff, the chain movers, and then heavy, heavy dosages of Brock Bowers. They don't cover the tight end well, so they could be in trouble. That's all I'm saying. And that's pretty simple for what the Raiders are going to have to do right there. And Scott Turner seems capable of getting that done. He's shown the ability to get the football to Brock Bowers and get the ball downfield and run the ball. So right now, Scott Turner looks like he should have been the offensive coordinator the whole time. But anyway, we're not even going to get all into that. But we can get into it a little bit. Scott Turner looks like he should have been the offensive coordinator the whole time. Anyway, sometimes that's how stuff happens, man. you thinking that you don't have the guy on staff and you actually have the guy on staff. And the guy that you thought you needed to bring to the staff wasn't the guy that you needed to bring to the staff. He was the guy that you didn't need to bring. You should have let this guy do that guy's job from the beginning. You wouldn't even have to hire that guy. The guy that you got right now would be that much better. Had he done all that? Anyway, so what the Raiders got to do? I'll reiterate one more time. Run with Sincere and Madison. Get the ball downfield to Tucker. Intermediate with Jacoby. Heavy, heavy doses of Bowers for everything else. Special teams. Carlson. Daniel. 
I hope you got your swagger back. I hope you got the misses out of your system for the rest of the season because we might need you in this one. All right? Not going to get on your helmet too much more. Already got videos and all that stuff right now where I, you know, I was disappointed. But anyway, Daniel, hope you get back on track. Everybody else on special teams has been doing a fantastic job. So that's what we got for this week, week 14. We're going to stay the course, man. We still doing our thing, previewing and reviewing games. We're going to do it all through the whole season, no matter what the record is. And, you know, offseason. I got y'all, man. I'm here for y'all. So that's all I got for you. I ain't going to hold you on this one. We'll holler back after this game and, and, and recap it, see what happens, see if they stuck to the game plan. I think the Raiders can go out here and beat the Bucs. You know, say I think the Raiders can win. And they, last week they should have won. We know it, but. I think we can go ahead and squeeze out one more win, pause, and not really hurt the draft status because I know some of you guys are worried about that. All right. So Raiders can probably go out here and win this one, I think, man. But that's all I got for you, man. I'm not going to hold you. Like I say, just win, baby, and peace.